Back now, our next guest is an international best-selling children's author who has sold over 10 million books that have been translated into over 40 languages worldwide. Her beloved book series, Tom Gates, arrived in Dublin this week in a new stage show that has gained huge excitement. Author Liz Pinchon joins us here. Very welcome, Liz. Thanks for having Good me. Good morning to you, Liz. Excited to be here. Thanks. 16 books, is it? Oh, yeah, 16, and I've just Holy started doing... moly. Uh, the book 17, which will be out in October. This is quite an incredible <laughs> success story, it's isn't amazing. it? It's yeah, it's been brilliant. So the live show is happening as we speak, because there's yeah. two more shows to happen today, this That's afternoon, right. the matinee, right. and this evening. Yep. Um, and how's that gone? That's in the Olympia. Oh, it's fantastic. I went there yesterday, so I met some of the fans, did a bit of book signing, and, uh, it, no, it's so great. You know, the kids are bringing their books and they're really excited to see the show and they quite often bring drawings and things that they've done. So, oh, and for a lot of them, it's the first time they've ever seen some theatre. So, and they're, they're really dying to see how the books translate. It's actually a lovely of introduction, course, yeah. yeah, it's been amazing. Yeah. There were lots of very excited um, fans yesterday. Tell lovely. us about Tom. For those un uninitiated amongst us, who mm. is Tom? Well, Tom Gates is about sort of nine, ten years old and he's a little boy who um, is very easily distracted by drawing and doodling. He's very keen, very hours. enthusiastic, <laughs> yeah. And, um, yeah, so it's a story just about his family, his friends, and it's written in the form of his voice talking about his family and friends. And I include lots and lots of drawings and doodles in it. So mm. every page is absolutely packed full of things to look at and read. Is and he based on anyone in particular? He is very much based on me. When is I was he? A kid. He is actually, yeah. <laughs> it's quite funny because people are quite often, you know, when they see that you know, it's about a boy and yes. then yeah, yeah, yeah. when I first started doing school visits and I'd turn up and a lot and of the kids go, would be like, what? what? You? You write yeah. the book? So yeah, lots of it is based on me, but I take little bits from everywhere though. And yeah. who's the typical reader? Um, and are they being read to by their parents or are they taking it both. to bed themselves? Interestingly, um, lots of reluctant readers, children that don't often enjoy reading books, say that okay. they really love reading the books, which is fantastic. Um, so I get readers from, you know, six all the way up to 12. And because it's been going for eight years now, um, now when kids come to the book signings, I'm having to stand up because a lot of them are, are taller. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Course, and they yeah, quite yeah. often will, you know, they, they read the books over and over again. So I get a wide range of readers, bo both boys and girls, which is brilliant, which is and, exactly what I wanted. And it's a, it's a real family affair because your husband, you were saying, was yes, wrote the music right, for yeah. the show. Yeah, he wrote the music, all the music for the show and collaborated with uh, another partner as well. And I wrote all the lyrics as well. Wow. So, and he's obviously knows all about the stories and he's always the first person to read the books when I first Is write he them. who you, pass, you say, right, I'm finished, I have a read of that? I, I honestly, it drives him nuts because I give him, <laughs> I give him the text and then um, I'm pacing around outside to see whether he's laughing or oh, not. Oh, gosh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he's great. He's always really, you know, and well, he might find a bit in the book and go, are you really going to put that in? Oh, really? <laughs> really? Well, Just you need that bit. honest yeah. kind of you feedback, do. don't it's you? It's more about our family life and things. And what, what's the, the process like for you in terms of writing the book? Because we have some photos that we're going to show, which oh, are yeah. amazing. Yes. But are you, are you regimented? Are you disciplined? Do you get up in the morning and say, right, I have to do yeah, 5,000 words I mean, a day? I was an illustrator before, and I used to illustrate other people's books. Um, so when I started, in fact, Tom Gates started off as a picture book, and it gradually morphed into a book for older children. So I'd never written anything more than um, 12 pages yeah, before. Yeah. So I had to find a way of doing it. And you have to get up, and I have a word count every day. Yeah. So I do my word count, I keep my notebooks, and I try and remember all kinds of things that, you know, if you hear conversations, you've got to write it down because it's very easy to forget things. But also when you're 16 books in, yes. you must have to, when you're writing the new, the latest version, you must have to go, oh, hang on, did he meet him? Or yes, of course. There must be a Honestly, wall full of well, diagrams and arrows. Well, the children know the stories better than I do Of course they now. do, yeah. And sometimes, as soon as I've <clears> finished one book, the story goes out of my head and I'm starting to think about the new one already. But, like, the process of writing the play was, um, I worked with Neil Foster, the director, mm. And he's done horrible histories and all the David Williams plays. He's done Gangster Granny, he's hasn't done Gangster he? Which is Granny. a big hit yeah. in our house. Yeah, no, it's fantastic. And so he had a very clear idea that we wanted to write a brand new story for the play. So we sat in a room, basically, and just came up with ideas. And we had six plot lines. And we wanted to set it up that Tom had six problems to solve. So that was the first half. Right. And then we could ratchet it up so that actually by the second half that he'd solve all the problems. And then so we I took away all those ideas and then drew them up, which I think you might have a graphic of. So I drew out there all the plot there. lines. There you go. Wow. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
It's so just that's a, the entire story. That's that's the first half Holy of the story. Body. Wow. And and that's the way I do the books as well. It must have been an interesting process then to go from the book to the play in terms of you then had to cast Tom. Yes, yeah. So he had to eventually come out of your mind and you were saying he's loosely based on you. Yeah. So when it came to casting it, did you did you have a, a specific idea of what you wanted? Well, Matt Chase, who plays Tom, I mean, all the cast are absolutely brilliant. <clears throat> and lots of them have to double up as different yes, characters yeah, as yeah. well. And obviously, they're not your child actors. They're all sort of, you know, in their 20s. Yeah. And they all do an amazing job. But they've got an energy about them. And they're also are fantastic singers. So there's lots yeah. of songs in the show as yeah. well. Um, and I did lots of the drawings as well, worked with the designer, Jackie Truesdale, on the set design. Yeah. So I think people will really feel like they're getting the energy and the enthusiasm and the humour that's from the books. I think they've done an amazing job of being able to put that on stage. And was it, the case, was it the case when you saw him, you thought, yeah. that's my time? Yeah, he, he does. He has got, definitely got a look of Tom about him. Really? Um, and, and, you know, the, and <clears throat> the energy as well. And so. those illustrations, Liz, are so important because I find when I'm reading stories to, to my boys, because yeah. they're not necessarily at the level where they can just take a book to bed. They'd like mm. to be, but they're not mm. there yet. Try Tom. Um, but yeah, Tom could work for them, actually. The would... Diary of a Wimpy yeah, Kid is, yeah. a, is a big hit as yeah. well. So that's probably a similar genre. But the illustrations are so important because yeah. that keeps them engaged it and does, it works yeah. their imagination as well, doesn't it? Well, for me, I think sometimes you come up against when books, especially for that age group, that they never used to have a lot of illustrations in them. And children go from these amazing picture books that are full, that all the pictures will help tell a yeah, story. Yeah, a lot yeah. of text. And then they yeah. get lots of text. And I thought that's one of the things I really wanted to do with the books, was I wanted to include all the, the kind of page-turning moments and yeah. that excitement that you can get. Um, and stories for me, and illustrations particularly, is a way of telling a story. Mm. So it's well, not. it clearly works it, because it's that's, not the, worse. <laughs> that's the model that David Williams uses in his books oh, as well. Absolutely, I mean, very and the drawings heavy are so on the funny. illustrations. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, well, Tony Ross is a genius, so yeah. he's got a fantastic. Well, you're not far off that yourself. Well, no, you're, you're not. not. And can, can <laughs> we just show how yeah. creative this lady is? Because oh, yes, I've got you have your own illustrations on your shoes. I do. They were. I had to get a shot. I had lots of ladies, lots of people taking pictures of my shoes yesterday. So I draw on them because I love the fact that the books encourage creativity with children. So you buy a plain pair of so shoes. So I buy a plain pair of shoes. Yeah, those are plain shoes. And, and there's I just, Tom's face at the front. Look at yeah. And I just um, use I, a sharpie. I use a sharpie. Yeah, and you can do it on canvas shoes as well. There we are. They're just so I literally just draw on them. And um, your nails are done. And my nails. I've got my nails done. And um, of course you have. Yeah, I've got my and nails the done. And my earrings. And your earrings. As well. So I like sort of. Doing. It's just a way of showing the children that they can do, they, they can yeah. use the illustrations and then they can get creative yeah. and yes. do other things with it. And so. you're going to be meeting some of the fans today because you're Love going to go down it. to the Can't Olympia wait. before <laughs> and after the matinee and before the even show, you're going to be signing books. I'll be signing books there. It's great to meet all the, the readers as well. They're always so enthusiastic yeah. so and asking me questions and everything, so I can't wait. And questions from that age group, those kids yeah. are just... It's some of them get tongue some, some of them forget it? their questions and they get like, oh, but um, yeah, no, it's great. They get and starstruck. Yeah, Aww. and they've been giving me presents and drawings and Bless. things. It's lovely. <laughs> Well, it's so a continued sweet. success. Oh, and thanks thank for coming so in and sharing. Thank you, Liz. Thanks for having me. It's a thank pleasure. You. If it's you'd lovely. like to see Tom Gates live on stage today in the Olympia, there are only two shows left. Hurry up, head to ticketmaster.ie for more information.